Now let's work with an example that's a bit more sophisticated than the one we saw in the last video. We're going to grab a set X that is uncountable and define this other collection. So this collection A is gonna grab all these subsets of X for which the set itself is countable or its complement is countable. Now what we have to do is just prove that A is a sigma algebra. So if you remember from our previous video, to check that a set is indeed a sigma algebra, we have to prove two properties. It has to be closed by complements and closed by countable unions. So let's start with the first pro of those properties. To prove that it's countable by complements, let's grab an element E that is in A. We have to prove that E complement is in A. What we're gonna do to make this easier is call E complement B. Looking again at the definition for A, we know that the subsets of A are those sets that are countable or the complement is countable. So let's check the two cases because E could be either countable or its complement countable. So the first case is if E is countable and let's think for a bit about B. Well, ha what happens with B complement? B complement is just E complement complement, right? Because E complement was the definition for B. And E complement complement is equal to E, which is an element in A. So B complement is E and E is countable. So then B will fall into this category. Its complement is countable. So then with this we have that B is in our collection A. Looking again at the definition, we have we already covered the case E countable. It's this first one. And now we have to cover the second one when E complement is countable. Well, but this case is very simple because E complement is countable and we said that E complement was B. So then B is countable. And then if B is countable because of the definition of A, B is countable, then B is in our collection. Okay, and this is just what we were trying to prove for this first step. So we have that our collection A is closed under complements. And now we have to prove that it's closed under countable unions. So to prove that it is closed under countable unions, we have to grab any sequence of elements in A. Let's call them E sub i, from i equals 1 to infinity. All of these elements in our collection. We want to prove that their union is also in the collection. And again, because of the definition for our collection, we're going to consider two cases. The first one is what happens when E sub i is countable for every i. So our sequence is formed by all countable sets. Well, but we know that the union of countable sets is a countable set. So then, if all these elements are countable, in particular their union is countable. And so, because again of the definition for our collection, anything that's a subset of X and that it's countable belongs to our collection. So the union belongs in our collection. And now let's consider the other case. What happens if there exists one of these E sub i for which its complement is countable? Well, let's see what happens with the complement of the union of all these sets. Well, 
we know that the complement of a union is just the intersection of the complements. And whenever we have an intersection of many sets, the intersection itself is a subset of each of those elements that we are intersecting. So this will be a subset of any E sub i complement, in particular this one, E sub i sub 0 complement. But we said that this was countable, so then any subset of a countable set is a countable set. Then this intersection is countable. But again, this intersection, because of what we did in there, is the same as the complement of the union. So again, looking at the definition for our collection, we are again in this case, we have a set for which its complement is countable. And in this case, that set for which its complement is countable would be this thing right there. So then the union from i equals 1 to infinity of e sub i belongs to our collection. And that's it. So what we did, let's recap, is we took, we defined first this collection of subsets of x. We proved that it was closed under complement, and then we proved that it was closed under countable unions. So then, with all these two properties, we can say that A is a sigma algebra. And this sigma algebra has a particular name. It is called the sigma algebra of countable or co-countable sets. In the next video, we're going to learn about a very particular sigma algebra that's called the generated sigma algebra.